blissful this afternoon is where we gathered for the IDEX Roadshow to talk more about this 6 and this uh, IDEX Prime. IDEX is, uh, in, in an abbreviation, it is Innovations for Defense Excellence, was launched in April 2018 by our Honorable Prime Minister. And today we will discover more about uh, what is all the this 6 and about the IDEX Prime. Uh, we would like to extend a very warm welcome from T-Hub and IIT Hyderabad to Captain Roy, who is the Program Director from IDEX, and Karan Narula, Program Executive. Welcome, sir. I would like to welcome our IIT Hyderabad co-host guest, Professor Surya Krumar and uh, Dhruv Gupta, and uh, our own CEO, MSR, and VPPS. Okay, uh, for an introduction and the benefit of people who don't know about IDEX. IDEX is an innovation for defense excellence. was launched in repetitive, I'm sorry, April 18, 2018 by our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji. The whole idea was about Atma, Atma Nirbhar and Bharat. So one of the first aims of India as a nation since independence has been to achieve self-reliance in the field of defense and defense production. I would request MSR to st start with the introduction with T-Hub. Good afternoon. Uh, first of all, welcome to T-Hub. Uh, Captain Roy, Karan, Professor Rao, and Hello. Dhruv, and of course, Mr. Joshi, sir. Thank you for being here. Uh, pleasure and honor to invite you to T-Hub. For many of you, maybe this is the first time you are at T-Hub. And uh, just to, we'll start with a little bit of a forward thinking, forward looking story, right? So you'll see this new building. Uh, this is the new T-Hub. Okay, so we were, uh, we were at this premises for about, uh, from, uh, from November 2015. And uh, June 28th, we'll be moving to this new building. So just to give you some context of uh, idea of scale, the building we are in is about uh, 70,000 square feet. And we have about 215 startups currently working out of this building. Uh, the new building is, hold your breath, 350,000 square feet. Okay, so we, over a period of time, obviously we are not starting with all the 10 floors up front. We'll occupy it over a period of time. But we'll have potentially about between 800 to 900 startups in that building. What we are trying to do at uh, the phase two is essentially bring all the relevant players who go towards building an entrepreneurial ecosystem under one roof. So we will have, obviously, the front and center of everything we do is, is founder entrepreneurs or startups. We will have banks, we'll have venture capitalists, we'll have industry, we'll have trade associations like CAI, we'll also have uh, uh, academic partners working out of that building. The whole idea is to create within one physical infrastructure, bring together all the relevant players who go towards building a robust, strong entrepreneurial ecosystem. Right? We do believe this will be among the top two innovation entrepreneurship ecosystem physical infrastructures in the world. The other one is in, in France. Right? So that's just a, a precursor to what you're going to hear. And uh, first of all, uh, what I'd like to do is just to give you for particularly, uh, Professor Surya told me that he's managed to bring a lot of students from the campus to, uh, to from, from IIT to, to Trihub. For many of you, this may be the first visit. And uh, the whole idea I want to do today is also, uh, for those of you who are not familiar with Trihub, to give you an overview and uh, to talk about the possibilities. Hopefully, many of you will become entrepreneurs. And we'd like, you know, we'd like to make an offer to you that those of you who are contemplating a career or a future as entrepreneurs, come to T-Hub. Okay. So with that, let's start. I'll just give you, okay, technology always lets you down at the right time. Uh, Murphy's Law at Work. Okay. So just to, uh, some of you may not be familiar with what the strategy the government of Telangana has followed over the last seven years. So as you know, Telangana as a state was incorporated in 2014, right? And uh, the leadership, 
felt that we must try and focus on building a culture of innovation and a focus on entrepreneurship. Right? So with that intent in mind, several entities have been set up. We'll quickly talk about them for you to get a flavor. And as you can see, it's almost in a different context from a defense perspective, sir. You talk about a string of pearls strategy, right? So the our government here has followed a string of pearls strategy in trying to create a environment where different facets of entrepreneurship and innovation can be fostered, supported, and encouraged. So we are at T-Hub. We'll talk a little bit about T-Hub. But the other entities, I just thought, give you a quick flavor of. So we have, the, we have Telangana State Innovation Cell. So as you know, we have about 33 districts in Telangana. And the intent here is to fo foster what we call impact entrepreneurship, support entrepreneurship in tier two, tier three cities, and focus on problems of, we have, you know, we are a country of 1.3 billion people. So we have lots of challenges to do with weight, with water, waste management, clean air, and so on. So the focus of TSIC is to support impact related entrepreneurship. Uh, VHUB is India's first government supported woman incubator okay and they have supported over 500 entrepreneurs in their four year journey uh, this is a few kilometers away just across the other side we have t works now t works particularly for those of you students who are essentially you know hobbies tinkerers inventors and entrepreneurs who are trying to build hardware right so as you know india historically has been a country which is been focused on software and services, right? More recently, we have started to focus on hardware. So what we do at T-Works is you can conceptualize an idea, for example, at T-Hub, and then when you want to go out and figure out how to build a prototype, and you need access to, to sophisticated uh, you know, 3D printing equipment or CNC machines, etc., you have an opportunity to leverage the uh, uh, Prototyping as a service facility, we call it PASS. Prototyping as a service facility, which is available at T-Works. Uh, the rich is uh, the research and innovation circle. So as you know, in Hyderabad, we are truly blessed. We have 40 plus institutions of you know, academic research, etc., which are doing work in a variety of sectors. So for example, in Agritech, uh, we have 12 defense labs. Uh, we also have several institutes in the life sciences and biosciences space. So the intent of uh, Rich is basically to figure out how to get innovation from the lab to the market. Right? And also to work with entrepreneurs. So for example, many of our entrepreneurs here who work in the life sciences space, they have access to institutes like CCMB and so on, so that they get access to, you know, for, to, uh, for you know, uh, quick you know, clinical trials to get mentorship from, you know, for distinguished academy, academicians and so on. And then we have task. Uh, task is uh, about bridging the gap between industry and academia. Essentially what you find is that uh, many of our, uh, unfortunately our, a lot of our education has not been able to keep up with current trends. So how do you bridge that gap and make students employable by making sure that they become industry ready. So that's one. We also have one or two others. We have uh, a department called the Emerging Technologies Department within the government. Uh, the intent of that department is to take all the innovations which are being built across these different entities and figure out how it can be leveraged by government. For example, just to give you one or two use cases, uh, usage of drones in agri, for example, right, or usage of blockchain in different uh, scenarios by the government, for example, in the area of land records, etc., etc is all being pioneered by the Emerging Technologies Department. So, uh, uh, sir, we were talking about asking you to make Hyderabad the hub of everything. I hope I've been able to make a convincing case to see that we've built a very strong ecosystem here. Uh, we also have, as you know, uh, several large defense and aerospace entities here, both, uh, both global entities as well as entities uh, which are homegrown. And uh, we do believe uh, we have all the ingredients to build a truly world-class ecosystem to support IDEX and the Ministry of Defense on the Atman River mission. Shweta, can you just move this? So 
So this is uh, just to give you a flavor of the kind of startups we work with. Uh, I can go on, but this is a very, you know, I can spend a lot of time. So as I said, uh, we have currently about 215 startups working here. In our journey over the last six and a half years, we've supported 1,100 startups, plus startups. Uh, and fundamentally, the way we do it is uh, our model for supporting startups. Uh, I'm borrowing a leaf from our uh, prime minister and his pension for acronyms. So we call it the 6M framework. Okay. So how do we support our startups? So access to markets, access to money, access to mentors, access to manpower or talent, motivation and mindset. Right? That's what we are trying to support our startups with. So we have uh, about 1,100 startups spread across 50, 57 different sectors. So agri-tech, ed-tech, fintech, uh, uh, life sciences, drones, of course defense, which we'll talk about today. And all of them, many of them have made very significant progress to becoming sustainable, lasting entities. Right? We also have a lot of uh, social impact startups we are, which are addressing very fundamental problems of uh, food tech, uh, of uh, clean air, climate change, and so on. So this is about T-Hub. So we are a startup hub. We also work very closely with corporates. The whole idea for us is that corporates work, corporates themselves, in today's, uh, today's time, we've had uh, you know, two black swan events in the last two years, right? And their own drive for innovation uh, for, for them to be competitive in the marketplace has been ex ha in the whole digital transformation which is going on. We support them actively. We work with entities across uh, uh, companies like uh, in the mobility space. So for example, we are working with people like Maruti, with Hyundai, with Renault, etc. And what we do is essentially uh, work with them on several things. One is around learning and development, which is how do you create an entrepreneurial or entrepreneurial culture within those large companies. So we do a lot of uh, programs around design thinking, critical thinking, problem solving, uh, creating a culture of innovation, etc. And then we also run challenges. We run hackathons. We identify problem statements. And then we do matching of startups to corporates. And we run a you know a three to six month to nine month accelerator programs so that the startups can, you know, both have an opportunity to sell to, sell through, and actually come up with market-ready solutions, which can then be scaled uh, over a period of time. Next. Yeah. So that's a very quick snapshot. So, uh, sir, I hope we've made our case for you to, to stay further, more deep. We, we really value what we've done so far. And very quickly, about the work we've done in IDEX. So we have six startups, and I'm happy to share with you that one of the startups, which is uh, BBS, Big Bang Boom Solutions, has now reached a trial stage. And then two of the startups are now at uh, stage four. Right? So I think uh, this is a program which we deeply value our association with and uh, look forward to doing more and uh, consider us to be vital cogs in the wheel of supporting the whole dis defense innovation uh, engagement. Thank you. Thank you, MSR. I request Surya, sir, to come onto the dais, talk more about IIT Hyderabad. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, good morning, and a uh, warm welcome uh, on behalf of uh, ITIC and T-Hub uh, jointly organizing this event. Uh, thank you for the IDEX team to flying and uh, joining us here, and Joshi, sir, for joining us. I think, I mean, uh, So meanwhile, I think uh, after the T-Hub presentation, it's difficult to follow on the numbers. Okay, so I will, uh, I mean, just talk a little on uh, the tech part of it, at least the things which I know a little better. Okay, so uh, so this is essentially we call our incubator ITIC, uh, that is uh, stands for uh, IIT Hyderabad Technology Incubation Center, and. Uh, So there is a, a PhD comics joke. I mean, uh, so you see, essentially, uh, conferences may PPTs, okay? And uh, the moment uh, uh, all the things, then it just goes uh, signal bad, okay? So let's just wait for it. Okay. 
Okay, good. Next slide. Okay. So I think, uh, uh, so what do we do and how do we do? Okay. So mainly I think, I mean, I'll uh, keep it simple. Our major role is a tech incubator that is a deep tech incubator. So imagine uh, being a academic institute and a research institute. Imagine a student or a faculty in one of the labs or one of the areas having a wonderful technology idea, but clueless about anything else. Clueless about uh, how to convert it into a product, how to take it to the market, how to take care of the regulations required, how to take care uh, about the money required to raise the funds uh, for the prototyping, etc. And that's where we come in. So our role is help that uh, innovator uh, with a great technology idea, convert it into a tangible business product and reach it to the market. Okay, so I think that's kind of our what we define as our core uh, uh, responsibility and uh, uh, it's open both for uh, IIT Hyderabad or IIT fraternity but as well as for uh, rest of the community also so it's not I mean so although we operate from IIT Hyderabad uh, it's open and uh, I mean uh, students and fellows from uh, our startups from other uh, places also are most welcome but yes I mean we kind of say uh, Campus me bite ke karo, okay? I mean, uh, that is, I mean, uh, I stayed all my life in campus, so we always feel that uh, there is an ecosystem and uh, a active, uh, I mean, location, okay, always self. So that is how we operate. Next slide. So these are all activities we do. So we have, I mean, uh, student activities, we have credited activities, we have uh, uh, incubators, three different incubators uh, on. Uh, focusing on healthcare, focusing on FAPC and uh, more a generic one IT which focuses, which is tech agnostic, I mean sorry, uh, domain agnostic, okay, so any theme but as long as it is deep tech. Okay, so these are our funding agencies, some of the programs we are running, so we have uh, uh, with autonomous navigation, we have with uh, DST, with uh, NMDC, etc. And uh, so this is our journey, okay, so I think, uh, so our idea here is right from the germination. So that is, you have an idea, you have a tech idea, to the stage where you are actually like uh, doing, I mean, uh, creating a successful market prototype or a, a minimum viable prototype and then reaching out to your customers, okay? And we look at it as uh, facilitators in that journey, okay? Both in terms of uh, connects, in terms of technical uh, help, in terms of the ecosystem for such innovation to happen, etc. And uh, so these are our kind of, I mean, so we have uh, various categories, uh, this thing, okay. I think, I mean, but I know, I mean, uh, any websites and any categories are uh, very confusing, okay. So I mean, kitna bhi bol do, I mean, uh, end of the day, you will still come and ask ki, where do I fit in, okay. So we have a very different funda, okay. You just go to the website, fill what you want, okay. Who will figure out on your behalf where you fit. Okay, so I mean, so that's kind of, I mean, so idea here is that uh, the process and the expectation from a startup should be minimum in terms of the formalities, but maximum in terms of the fire in the belly and the technical capability. Okay, that's all. I mean, we'll take care of the rest if you have the passion. So these are, I think, I mean, uh, program structures. Okay. So some uh, humble numbers, I don't want to go into detail of it. Okay, but yes, so talking about buildings, we are also excited. We will be also going to one of our uh, new technology incubation park. Uh, building is going to be shortly ready. Okay. Uh, yeah, shortly ready has been a consistent answer from our uh, uh, CMD department from uh, last two, three years. Okay. I hope that consistency is broken in next two, three months. But I mean, I think in next two, three months, we'll make it. Uh, so these are some facilities we have, uh, so uh, I mean in terms of IP support, in terms of uh, software tools, in terms of maker lab facilities, etc. And uh, some pictures of our uh, facilities and uh, these are some few startups we are having with us right now and uh, that's it, okay. Thank you, but uh, I think uh, the whole intent of today's event is uh, with the focus on IDEX, okay. And uh, how he would like both Ehab and ITIC uh, would like to facilitate uh, more and more startups in the defense sector and uh, what is the role 
uh, we can do in facilitating it, we'll be happy to listen and we'll be happy to take uh, notes from that. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, sir. And I think the finally the flicker started working. The, I think it's the midday challenges you are having. Okay, uh, with no wasting your time, I request Captain Roy, sir, to come on to the stage and talk more about IDEX 6 and Prime and IDEX as a whole organization. Uh, please stay awake. Please don't sleep off. This is going to be a little longer. Thank you. I'll also repeat uh, what uh, Sri Sutta just said. I hope you stay awake. <laughs> and I have to admit at the beginning itself that uh, we don't have a very attractive uh, presentation which uh, T-Hub or uh, IIT made. It's going to be a Sarkari presentation, so bear with us. <laughs> this thing. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm Captain Roy Joseph uh, from IDEX, Innovation for Defense Excellence. Uh, with me, I have uh, Mr. Karan Narula who's our program executive, this thing. And also I can see another program executive out here, uh, Mr. Vishnu. And uh, it's lovely to be here. It's a privilege to be here. And uh, I'm enthused. It's great to see Secretary Joshi out here and um, the other esteemed dignitaries in the front rows. I'm more enthused to see the ideators, uh, the disruptors behind in the back rows. And I hope we will have a very fruitful session today and I'm looking forward more to the interactive session rather than all this GAN which is coming from the stage. This thing. Okay, today's session basically, uh, before I forget, uh, thank you T-Hub and IIT Hyderabad for hosting us, for organizing this session. Uh, you are the most valuable partners IDEX and MOD have as far as uh, startups are concerned. And um, you mentioned that uh, that MOD and IDEX should consider to make T-Hub or IIT as the hub out here. I, I think this is no secret. Uh, it's, a, it's a given. Hyderabad, Telangana, this is the innovation hub. This is the ideation hub of the country. And uh, it is no secret that two of our partner incubators of MOD, IDEX is based in out here itself. And uh, most of our startups, or quite a few of our leading startups who are doing pioneering work are based out of here or associated with one of them. With that, I'll uh, straight away go into the presentation. See, today's uh, session basically is, as far as IDEX is concerned, is to introduce uh, uh, IDEX Prime, which is our next set of challenge, and also Defense India Startup Challenge, the sixth edition. So we are basically bringing out, uh, this was the set of challenges which was launched by Honorable Raksha Mantri, Defense Minister, uh, some weeks back and we are doing this road show and we've been on literally on the road for some some days now and uh, this is basically an introduction to the challenges the new challenges we have brought in this one yeah thanks we in forge are slightly technically challenged Yeah, before I deep dive into IDEX Prime and DIS 6, a bit about what is IDEX all about and what do we do? What do we do? And thereafter, we'll get into IDEX Prime and uh, the DIS 6 challenges. So, IDEX is basically the flagship scheme of uh, Government of India, Ministry of Defense. Uh, basically launched in uh, 2018 by the Honorable Prime Minister Sri has covered all this. So what is the idea? What was the idea of, of setting up this scheme? There are numerous schemes in our country runs. This was basically a scheme basically to create an environment of innovation and technology development, to foster innovation and technology development, but um, also with the objective or focused ob objective of infusing cutting-edge technologies into the armed forces, futuristic solution into the armed forces in quick time frame. So that is the ball game. So as far as the organization is concerned, two terms you will be hearing. On top it is written Defense Innovation Organization, that is DIO and IDEX. DIO, Defense Innovation Organization, IDEX, Innovation for Defense Excellence. So DIO is basically the umbrella organization, it's the governing body which and in the advisory role and IDEX is basically 
the implementing arm the executive arm of dio or the mod as far as startups are concerned innovation is concerned dio as i mentioned is a section 8 company we are funded by the uh, goi or the ministry of defense we are currently engaged uh, with around um, 100 startups uh, based out of about 3000 uh, applicants uh, our mantra as i told you is rapid prototyping so it is not basically an academic research which we do it is that um, it's a, uh, it's like a the ongoing t20 or ipl this thing it's a it's a question of uh, 24 months 12 months 15 months and at the maximum 24 months you have to deliver your prototype and it has to be absorbed by the by the customer the clients i'll speak who are your customer who are your challenge owners and um, the test testimony to this is that the initial challenges which we had launched we are today speaking of this six the first challenges which we launched in 2018 we have already placed orders to the to the startups and uh, maybe in march you must have heard that it was a headline that to the startups we have placed orders worth almost 400 crores this thing and uh, this is in a span we we had our initial contracts in 2018 19 and you would have this intervening period also so the covid restrictions the covid pause despite that our startups have been able to deliver prototypes clear their trials and orders have been placed with them yeah we are scaling up fast um, initial plan was to have 300 startups and 50 technology but this is a passe now we have been told that uh, we have to address about 500 challenges so you can multiply by two or three that is the kind of uh, startups we are looking to engage with contract with mentor with next yeah just about our uh, the framework just to understand ki where does idex fit in and how does it connect idex is basically a bridge which basically connects two worlds the world of armed forces that is army navy and air force also indian coast guard and now the paramilitary the security forces also have joined us the other ministries uh, mha i have already mentioned there are other ministries mati and electronics now the nascom is also getting associated with us as far as the cyber things are concerned so we connect so idex in the center connects these challenge holders these uh, stakeholders with the startup ecosystem the basic aim was to leverage uh, the vibrant energy of the startup because we are the largest or the one of the largest ecosystem we have the largest ecosystem of uh, startups who doing wonderful work in all of the sectors this thing idea was to leverage that particular energy or catalyze that energy into defense sector also so in between us and the startups we also have the partner incubators i'll come, come to the, us, uh, that part later so what do we do actually we take problem statements from army navy and air force the problems they are facing the uh, the solution they require the niche technologies they require we take these um, challenges from them and we take it to the startup ecosystem this thing we disseminate that we get the solution we get those applications your your pitch and we take it back to the services and thereafter if it gets selected we enter into a contract with you we mentor you we fund you and take you to the whole process and it is not just a um, just a buyer seller con concept it is a concept of co creation and co innovation we are through once we engage with you once you contract with you we are throughout with you yeah some of the so between us and the startups we also have partner incubators this thing partner incubators like iit hyderabad like t hub pan india we today we have almost 14 uh, partner incubators mostly the iits i am ahmedabad iic bengaluru then some leading private um, incubators t hub we have uh, forge uh, this thing social alpha makers village this thing so pan india we have and we are increasing this thing so we um, these are our most valuable and wherever idex has today reached is also because primarily because of these incubators and of course the startups so some of the challenges we run so what are the kind of challenges we run first one is the defense india startup challenge disc in short and this is the sixth edition we are introducing now or we are bringing in now so defense india startup challenge are basically the challenges which has been given by the army navy and air force or the security forces or our defense psus the defense industry we we take those challenges and give it to the startup uh, startup ecosystem so that is the defense india startup challenge the sixth edition we are discussing today 
we also have something called the open challenge where open challenge is where where you may have an idea you may have a solution which you think is going to be fit for the armed forces so we source it from you and do the reverse we take it from you and take it to the our clients or our customers or our uh, major stakeholders and if they find it fit then we again contract you engage with you and maintain so that is the second challenge third is basically ideas for forgy that is for innovators within the who wear uniform that is a challenge for them idex prime we have just launched and we are introducing that idex prime which is going to be the next set um, next set of challenge uh, which will address slightly more complex challenge and the budget and other aspect are going to be on a slightly higher canvas yeah so what is the kind of support what does idex do and uh, for a individual innovator for a startup msme what do we do uh, starting from the um, uh, from the extreme this thing we provide you grant this thing so as of now under disc you are entitled to a grant from us uh, to the tune of 1.5 crores this thing this is now being scaled up with idex prime we are scaling it up from 1.5 to 10 crores so any of you who are engaged with us depending upon in which category the challenge is you can get 1.5 crores or 10 crores so this is not um, uh, this is um, uh, funding is not so important as, as far as i feel i personally feel it is the other things which we bring on the table Se second is as far as idex is concerned di is concerned we have very experienced and experts uh, in this field who, um, who are there in idex who basically get engaged with you the moment you get contract with uh, you get contracted with us you have a dedicated officer from idex who who associates with you and who is there with you throughout the journey that means even till the procurement this thing so the entire process he is there he is on a day to day basis he will be in the advisory this thing and he will be also steering your project so that is as far as the dio and we have a mix of experts out here or mix of uh, people with experience out here both from the armed forces as well as from the corporate world people who maybe from the startup ecosystem people who have run startups this thing who have who have been part of incubators and things like that so we have a, a set of uh, experienced team out here as far as idex is concerned that is the kind of support you get then you get access access to our platforms access to our lab access to our uh, equipment so this is the biggest challenge you as a startup as a indiv individual innovators or a young innovators your challenge is you may have a solution but how to enter this defense field how to how to reach a fighter aircraft or a submarine uh, or a warship so this is what we facilitate once you have an idea it is idex who takes you to various all these places you, our um, the you will hear from the startups out here that you your trials your um, where you test your this thing is not in your lab not in an incubator out here like this but in the field it could be in leh it could be in kashmir it could be in rajasthan desert it could be under sea or it could be on a fighter aircraft so that is the access we provide uh, then obviously you get to test your uh, solutions your products on cutting edge platforms also you get incubated and uh, mentored by partner incubators like i mentioned t hub iit uh, it is both Biz uh, they help you in business development as well as product development then uh, we also get experts experts if you require a particular uh, niche um, segment you require expert support that is either provided by the your partner incubator they also help you in getting the experts and we also can provide very uh, very important at the end is outreach and showcase when you are engaged with us you get showcased you get showcased at international event and marquee national events you your products your solutions and you yourself get showcased at an uh, events like um, aero india defense expo or any of the defense exhibition and now in the next phase and now since our uh, startups have now matured and have reached certain le level of uh, acceptance we are now planning to take our startups abroad on on this thing because physically there are a lot of interests coming in from cutting edge countries or leading countries pioneering countries whether it is us uk israel this thing some of our um, a team from uk has just visited um, some of our startups they wanted to specifically see what they are doing so you get showcased and this is very important as far as uh, your own development your valuation your business pro uh, prospects are concerned yeah this is a flow chart i already explained that we receive problem statement from the challenge owners and uh, we curate that select that and then launch it 
like we are doing, uh, we have just launched the disk 6 and IREX Prime and take it to you. And thereafter, we have a, we get back your response. You have to apply online. We get the response. We have the selection process in place. And it's all done in quick time frame. And uh, we announce and thereafter, we get to contract with you. And then we do, we help you in rapid piloting or rapid prototyping, as I mentioned. The process or the protocol is basically co-creation and co-innovation. So when you get engaged with us, you have an officer from IDEX, you have a partner incubator who's associated with you, you have a nodal officer from the challenge, challenge owner. That means you will have an army officer or a naval officer or an air force officer who's linked with you for your project. Yeah, this is our journey. We are launching the, we, are, uh, we launched the sixth edition uh, recently. 2018 to till now, I already told you we have already placed orders despite uh, COVID uh, restrictions. Our starters have been able to deliver, and we have already placed orders worth 400 crores. And another 1,500 crore is planned for this year itself. This thing, and uh, you would know that uh, though it's a short time, just uh, I think it was in April we have been awarded uh, the Prime Minister's Award for excellence in innovation. This is the highest award of service innovation is concerned in the country. Yeah, the five eyes on which um, our innovation uh, is driven, our system is driven. Yeah, I think uh, this is the cutting edge uh, technologies. Apologies for, I think the, it's got uh, uh, some scaling issues as far as the slide is concerned. Um, Cutting edge technology, disruptive technology on which our startups are currently working. Some of, uh, I've just mentioned, I, I can't see robotics and other this thing, all, all, all being done. You name it, it is done. We have even identified what are the frontier ta um, challenges or uh, technologies which we have not addressed and we are focusing on those, introducing those in the next version. We are uh, now targeting the challenges or the technologies which we have not addressed till now and we will have uh, challenges which are based on those technologies in the next phase. Yeah, bit about our structure, IDEX structure, uh, the governing, the DIO, the chairman is the secretary of defense production. And uh, then we come to the executive arm, the CEO. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't introduce the CEO is um, Mr. Sh uh, Sri Sanjay Jaju. Uh, in fact, um, I'm just filling up for him. He was supposed to be here. And uh, you know that he's from, um, he's one of the stars from uh, this state or Telangana, this thing, Kader. And uh, he's the one who's driving us, this thing, as, um, Sri Sanjay Jadu. He's the CEO of IDEX. Then we have the additional CEO, the Joint Secretary of Defense Production. Then we have uh, Chief Operating Officers, uh, uh, Officer. Then we have Program Directors and Program Executives and a whole system of um, CAs and finance experts sitting in IDEX. Yeah. As far as our process is concerned, is absolutely, it's not, um, Nothing sarkari about us, uh, if I can say so in this audience. Uh, it's paperless. It is um, uh, paperless, absolutely online. You can go to our website and fill up, fill your applications anytime for this thing, even for DISC, um, the DISC challenge, the sixth edition of six, uh, DISC and Prime. You can apply now. Open challenge, you can apply anytime. Yeah, some photographs basically of the showcase, uh, how we showcase and our startups. You get to meet your, you get to meet your products, get to meet the who's who of India and uh, maybe also who's of, of, of uh, foreign destinations. Yeah, I've just mentioned some of the uh, success stories and some, I, I believe some uh, some of our success stories are sitting today, and you should hear from them itself. Uh, this thing, this is um, I think 14, uh, 14 of the challenges or 14 of this which was introduced in 2018-19, um, on which orders are already been placed, and I think 17 odd startups who already got orders. This thing, and another 15 to 20 are already in the pipeline, and you will hear of them shortly. Yeah, this is the what the award which we won last month. Uh, this is the team in uh, DIO IDEX. This thing. Yeah, we now come to the first phase, that is the IDEX 
what is idex all about as far as um, idex prime and defense india startup challenge sixth edition is concerned we have just launched it the honorable uh, raksha mantri defense minister had launched it uh, last month and we are bringing in as far as under this six we are bringing in uh, 38 challenges these challenges have been sourced from all our challenge owners whether it is a defense psus uh, army navy air force and for the first time the paramilitary the mha has also given us challenges the indian coast guard has given us challenges and also um, some other ministries have also given us challenges so those challenges are there under the disc six 38 challenges this is already the details are already given on a website both the video the write-up and other aspect and uh, idex prime as i told you is, the, is going to be the game changer where our uh, we are going to address uh, challenges of greater magnitude amplification whatever you may name it uh, greater complexities and uh, greater scale or canvas and uh, i told you our our basically the uh, the grant is going to be, is going to go up from 1.5 crores to 10 crores for the challenges which are going to be placed under idex prime uh, with that, uh, gentlemen, I took some time. Uh, uh, we'll uh, have a quick break and we'll uh, maybe run the this six challenge movies and the IDEX Prime movies now. And uh, thereafter, we can take on questions. Innovations for Defense Excellence, IDEX. Asmakam Karyani, Asman Savadhi Karishanti. Realizing the vision of Honorable Prime Minister in activating India 2.0 during the Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav, IDEX is launching the 6th edition of Defence India Startup Challenge. Disc 6 includes a total of 38 challenges from the following companies. Garden Research Shipbuilders and Engineers with one challenge. Goa Shipyard Limited with one challenge. Musgau Dock Shipbuilders Limited with two challenges. Bharat Electronics Limited with three challenges. Bemil with one challenge. Bharat Dynamics Limited with one challenge. We have been associated uh, gainfully with uh, IDEX as well as DISC for the past few editions. And for this sixth, we have thrown up three challenges. On this occasion, I would request all innovators to participate wholeheartedly in the DISC six challenge and come up with solutions so that we make the country really Thank you. The newly formed companies from OFB corporatization that are Munitions India Limited with two challenges, Gliders India Limited with two challenges, India Optel Limited with four challenges, Troop Comforts Limited with two challenges, Armored Vehicles Nigam Limited with three challenges and Yantra India Limited with two challenges. MIL is participating for the first time and has stated two problems. I hope that the efforts of IDEX will bring innovative solutions to these problems. Jai. One challenge from the Indian Army, one challenge from the Indian Navy, two challenges from the Indian Air Force, and for the first time, three challenges from the Indian Coast Guard. We have introduced three niche ideas under the IDEX scheme. We fully endorse the Honorable Prime Minister's vision for Make in India and Atmanirbhar Bharat. Jai Hind. Also, for the first time in IDEX, Ministry of Home Affairs has participated with seven challenges. These challenges span across a wide range of advanced technologies, including artificial intelligence, advanced imaging and sensor systems, big data analytics, autonomous unmanned systems, secured communications, etc. Inviting startups, MSMEs, individual innovators, research and academic professionals to apply for DISC-6. Selected applicants will get grants up to Rs 1.5 crores along with the opportunity to co-create and co-develop the defense technologies of the future with our armed forces. Besides the grant, selected winners receive product and business acceleration support from IDEX partner incubators, access to defense facilities for QA and certification. Applications are open at idex.gov.in. Make the 
country self-reliant and self-sufficient in defense technologies, a progressive step was initiated. ITEX, Innovations for Defense Excellence. Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi in 2018 launched the IDEX program, a game changer in the defense ecosystem, with the objective of fostering innovation and incorporating cutting edge and disruptive technologies in the armed forces in a quick time frame. In the last three years, 81 challenges have been hosted, 350 plus ideas have been shortlisted and grants worth over 88 crores have been allocated to startups and MSMEs under the IDEX program. In order to nurture these startups and MSMEs, 14 partner incubators have been onboarded. Defence Acquisition Council clears procurement of 14 items worth over rupees 380 crores from ITEC startups MSMEs for armed forces. To further broaden and accelerate the innovation base for Indian defence and deliver quality results in mandated timelines, IDEX is launching IDEX Prime. The program will offer up to 10 crore innovation grant support along with technical and business development support from the partner incubators. The IDEX initiative has grown from strength to strength. With the launch of IDEX Prime today, we will now see defining technologies being developed for our armed forces. Challenges posed by Indian Army to develop an AI-based UGV for identifying and marking mines in a minefield. Advanced Trust Bridge. IDEX is a novel step contributing to the government's Atma Narbarda initiative and has enabled a conducive ecosystem for young innovators and startups to pursue the development of defense technologies indigenously. And launch of IDEX Prime Scheme with enhanced financial support will provide added impetus to innovation and indigenization. Indian Navy Challenges Development of 11-meter all-electric work boat Automated Celestial Navigation System Indian Air Force is actively involved in the IDEX program and is pursuing several projects under the Defence India Startup Challenge and the Open Challenge. The commencement of the new initiative of IDEX Prime will give a boost to innovation and technology development to meet future challenges which are complex and fast changing. Challenges posed by Indian Air Force Expendable active decoys Signals intelligence systems for heavy terrain and high altitude area Together we can, together we will Jai Hind uh, Hello everyone uh, Captain Roy mentioned my name and uh, even the team here. I am Karan Narula. I work as a program executive with the DIO. Uh, so you saw the videos, right? You got a brief idea about how the challenges are and what areas the challenges fall in. So you can go ahead and see wherever your technology suits, you can feel free to apply to them. So I'll just give you an overview as to how to actually go onto the website and apply for the challenges, right? So if you open the website, this is how it looks. You go to the IDEX challenges, scroll down the page and you see IDEX Prime, Open Challenge and DIS 6. These three are active right now. If you go to DIS 6 or IDEX Prime, click on any of them. So if you go to apply for DIS 6, you see a detailed form here. If you can scroll down the form, you can see all the fields that are required for the uh, you know application to be submitted. So you need to make sure that you can apply for as many uh, challenges you want but once shortlisted you can only be a part of maximum of three challenges in one uh, at, at a time right mm -hmm. so that's one thing that you need to keep in mind also another thing that uh, uh, captain roy did not mention about the grant part so 1.5 cr up to 1.5 cr and up to 10 cr is what idex gives you as a grant 
but you also need to bring in your matching contribution when you apply for the challenges. So you need to see your bandwidth as well in order to get resources and the matching contribution when you think of applying for challenges. Because the matching contribution, why we, ask, why we are asking for you to you know, get matching contribution is the fact that we want your skin in the game as well. We want that you know, if IDEX or if government is putting in money in you, you need to put your money as well in order to develop the technology and then take it to the different scale. So you need to look at your bandwidth when you think of applying to challenges. And that's the reason that we have limited it to three projects at a time at max. So if you scroll up and go to the uh, challenges uh, drop down. Here. If you select the category here, just go on to the category. You can see where you need to fill in for what, under what category you fall in as an innovator. You mention on the you mention the vital details, and then you also see a drop down of which challenge you want to apply for, and which challenge is hosted by which nodal agency. So you can see them for yourself, and then you can apply for the relevant challenge only, right? So that's it's it's a pretty simple process. Once you start applying to it, you'll get to know as to how to follow the process and everything. But the last date to apply for these challenges is sixth of June for both IDEX Prime as well as DIS six. So just make sure you start applying right away. Also, we are having a technical challenge session, a technical query session for these challenges because we understand that every challenge would have separate set of queries. So we are having these technical query sessions starting on 19th of February, uh, 19th of May. So from 19th up till 25th, 26th of May, we'll be having these technical query sessions. So whatever challenges you think you are suitable to apply for, do join us for those technical query sessions to make sure that you understand the challenge well enough. We'll share the links with the partner incubators as well and they can share it with you in return, right? So if there are any queries that you have, we can take those queries after the, um, I think, panel discussion is what it is. We can, we can take the question and answers later. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I did have the goosebumps when we saw the videos. I hope you felt the same. And uh, we are proud, proud and honored to be associated with IDEX for past four years. And I'm, I am always excited to work with the startup when we have the challenge and go through the whole process with them. And the best part is you have the end user guiding you through the process, right? So either the Air Force person or the Army person or the Navy person who is constantly supporting you. You have the nodal officers supporting you constantly. So it's a very good opportunity. and something to give back to our country. On that note, let's have a panel discussion moderated by Dhruv Gupta from IIT iTech Incubator. And uh, it's going to be more about the startup journey. And I will continue to give it to Dhruv. Hello, everyone. I'm Dhruv. I'm the Chief Operating Officer of iTech Incubator at IIT Hyderabad. So uh, we'll be just uh, doing a small panel discussion with uh, four of the winners of past IDEX problems. And uh, of course, ca Captain Sir. So uh, we'll be asking uh, questions about how their journey was and how IDEX is able to support them and how partner incubators role is. And if, uh, we'll be also open for questions from the audience, uh, from the startups, as well as from the side of the IDEX. Okay. Uh, can please name? Okay, so uh, we have uh, Nataraj from Aditya Prasitek. Yes, please be at the stage. Uh, Akash, okay, Akash, Almat. Hmm. Okay, so these two are from IIT Hyderabad. So they, they are supported by IIT Hyderabad. Then we have Sailesh, Sirish. Sirish, okay, okay. Skyroots, Sky and uh, we have Mr. Vijay. Uh, he's from. Sorry. Alpha, Alpha, yes. Alpha Designs. Please, please be on the stage. And uh, of, of course, Captain Rai, please. Oh, please, join them. <laughs> and I'll take my chair. That's my spot. So presently, we are doing a product, developing a product. Uh, uh, it is a portable spoof emitter for the IDEX. So basically, our different courses uh, will have certain radar systems, which will, uh, as I said, radars, we will be detecting the objects and targets. So here, the spoof emitter, what it 
will do is uh, like uh, we have the radar systems in different bands of frequencies like L band, S band, C band, X band uh, radar systems. Those are very costly systems and uh, that is for our security of the nation. So one this challenge is security this radar system is the challenge here. So how you are uh, securing this radar system like uh, as a dummy radar we are creating to show it uh, to the target or the missile what is approaching the original radar system. And uh, what we are developing for uh, IDEX is uh, fireless penetration radar. Yeah. So fireless penetration radar is, uh, you know, usually to identify what is uh, behind the bush or, uh, you know, uh, something which is camouflaged basically, which is not normally seen. So we are developing that and uh, onboarding into this challenge has been uh, uh, quite helpful like uh, the, the, the process has been uh, very supportive and we are uh, developing that and during this process we are getting quite a good support from both T-Hub as well as IDEX. Yeah. And uh, what we are trying to do is uh, inertial energy storage. So this is a, a process by which you know we can provide short period power backups or impulse energy. So there's lots of applications where you know you have uh, let's say a power interruption for a short period of time. And then the consumer of that power can't afford it because, uh, you know, a power interruption would probably disrupt a very critical process that it is undergoing or it, it has a long reboot sequence. So what we are trying to do is provide an energy storage mechanism, which is very compact. So it's basically a, a very high speed flywheel, which probably goes at about 100,000 RPM. That's what we're targeting. We store a lot of energy. So this critical consumer, in case of a power interruption, will not see any interruption to its power. Uh, and when the power comes back seamlessly, then, then you know, grid power or source power from, from a warship will actually go in. So we've been associated with the Navy for a very long time and uh, we build large machines for the Navy and so on. But it's, it's been tremendously exciting and actually I'm so, so positively surprised and, and you know, motivated by the whole, the whole, uh, you know, the whole uh, uh, atmosphere, the environment, everything that's been created by IDEX and, and DIO. Uh, you know, over this process. And one of the things that was lacking, you know, you can actually, you can have some resources, you can do work, you can plug away, you can do stuff. Yes, yes. Yeah, this is Napas from Aditya Press Actually, uh, since 1996, uh, uh, we are doing for the uh, DRDO labs and all. But actually, we are limited to our uh, only mechanical uh, fabrication and some of the mechanical products. Uh, but recently, in the sense, uh, uh, since four years, we are doing, uh, we are into electromechanical systems where the actuators and all, uh, uh, we have indigenized them. And because of this IDEX program, that is the, a great uh, program, we can say. So we are into a new strategic electronic field. There we got a, a disc three challenge that uh, uh, it, there should, uh, it is a four axis stabilized C and KU band antenna system. That is basically for the satellite communication. Uh, presently, the system is, uh, uh, you know, supplied by uh, one of the Israel company called Orbit. Now, the challenge is we need to indigenize it. Uh, it is, that is the actually the concept of IDEX. So, uh, there uh, uh, we got the challenge and it is already uh, in 2001. Uh, uh, actually, we have last year only we have started. Now, we came to a stage where the prototype is ready, is going to be ready in uh, one month of time. Already, uh, it is, uh, you know, uh, it is in a good shape. Now we are going to offer for the trials. In between, there is some certification programs. All those things are required. Now it is in that stage. Uh, in this particular uh, uh, journey of uh, building the prototype, uh, we, you know, uh, the, uh, uh, our partner incubator uh, has acted as a catalyst. You can say, you know, so it is accelerating the um, program in such a way that uh, in, in the IDEX structure, uh, as I told, uh, there will be milestone structure. For each milestone, there is a work breakdown structure. That is, we need to complete that particular uh, uh, work by that particular uh, time. So we are meeting that and uh, uh, in this process, uh, both IDEX and as well as the PI, they are giving their support. And most probably in uh, three months of time, we are going to complete the challenge. They have heard a uh, lot about from us and uh, IDEX is all about them only. And uh, I mentioned about the Prime Minister's award and all. This is these are the people who made it possible. These are the people who who are transforming the defense landscape and uh, the challenges, the contracts which used to take uh, five, ten years is normal in defense. And uh, they have done it in a couple of years. 
and uh, maybe both at fraction of time as well as fraction of cost. So these are the people who are making the things possible. So we should hear from them, their journey, and also maybe as we go ahead, because it's good, good mix we have out here. People from disk one, disk two, disk three, and even the latest disk five. So it's wonderful to hear. You should hear from them, from the horse's mouth, as I say. Otherwise, in government, we keep promising the moon. But you should hear from them. And maybe also the pain points. And uh, if at all, some individual innovator like you would like to get into this um, defense sector, IDEX, or there are various other schemes also. What are the things to be kept in mind? Um, whether it, uh, What is the organizational and the financial bandwidth which uh, Karan said? How to manage that aspect? Because I think uh, the challenge is not... Uh, the technical aspect, the challenges uh, working uh, as per the requirement of the armed forces, of the government, meeting those milestones, the paperwork, you having the documentation and other aspect also. So that is a different uh, kettle of fish for some of you. So those are things, this thing. So we should hear from them, uh, the startups but, itself. But, but I have one specific question. So uh, this is about the complete vision with IDEX. So when uh, when we took uh, Aditya Pacific and um, we started looking at the problem statements and all, what we realized is it is more like a vendor replacement, which, which was initially happening. And now we see a very, very much innovative problems coming out. Like we, we need the moon kind of things. Okay. So like the, this prime, uh, the prime challenges were like a celestial navigation system. And uh, it, it was very hard to even vet the problem statement itself. So how this change was bought in, in within the armed forces, that is what, what I would like to hear from you. Okay. Again, I will <laughs> look back at them. So these changes are being brought in by the young innovators like them, partner incubators, uh, because we are also being pushed to see that this thing, we also didn't know that how things will metamorphize and how things will pan out. So we have we may have started off with simpler problems but um, seeing what they can deliver startups like them can deliver we are now addressing uh, the bigger challenges this thing maybe and most of it are i can tell you are import substitutions things on which we were dependent on outside countries outside firms and uh, you, you know it's not only like the money which is going out um, uh, the businesses we are getting outside it is it is basically at critical time in um, security and operational times uh, we may be denied that technology. So those are the aspects. So self-reliance and um, strategic independence in niche technology is basically the core focus of the government and these are the people who can make it possible. So, uh, Metro, we, all, yeah, we also got a disc four challenge that is ILM, yeah. uh, intelligent loitering munition that is completely a, a technological development actually a new technology yeah yeah so the next question is to you only so yeah. as you are saying you are, you are about to complete the project in the next three months yeah what scares you now scares yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah nothing nothing scared about that only the thing is uh, you know uh, in the normal operation like uh, 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 without IREX generally uh, the thing is uh, we need to you know uh, to prove the ship trails basically okay uh, there is a lot of effort is required to communicate with the uh, rival people you know, and uh, making, uh, moving our uh, equipment there and uh, it will take a lot of uh, time and as well as the effort. Now, I hope actually because the IDEX is now in between, so they can, you know, presently already a nodal officer, a particular nodal officer uh, only specific for this particular uh, project they have already assigned to us. So it is very grateful and it is very helpful us. That's what uh, I am thinking. L let, let's hope for the best. Actually, it will happen uh, very <laughs> without any scare of things. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. No, so uh, like uh, this happened with me. Like when, when mm -hmm. I uh, like started interacting with IDEX, there were so many terms which I was not able to understand. So did it happen with you? Actually, uh, IDEX is so supportive, first of all. Uh, they clearly explained about uh, the idea, what is the challenge, and uh, in uh, time to time, they have approached us, especially the T-Hub, and what is the status, and uh, what is your approach, and uh, what is the timeline of uh, each and every activity they have inquired, and uh, we have also shown them uh, what is the layout status in time to time, what are the uh, in-between timelines, and uh, what are the achievements. So, presently we are in a good shape, but uh, every idea will have a specific target, but uh, 
at the same time we have certain limitations with respect to uh, achieving the goals with respect to the funds or it, uh, with respect to the limitations of the technology so the chat to be compromised to certain uh, extent so that is what going on at present uh, in this case so we hopefully we will be succeed we will succeed in short time uh, i would like to uh, extend that <clears throat> Indeed, uh, IDEX also, they are quite aware that this is quite complex. It's not that easy as you mentioned because uh, we participated into other programs also which are pretty straightforward. And uh, here in this case, uh, the, the whole program is structured so well that once you okay get into it, you will not find any problems. For that reason, like uh, they have a couple of orientation programs before they bring you on board to the system, they will explain you everything quite clearly. So they ensure uh, that you are you know, on the same page and everything. Once you are on board again, they will uh, connect you with the nodal officer and everyone to understand the, uh, you know, uh, customer requirements more precisely. And that is a continuous process that would uh, help a lot indeed. Yeah. So uh, Akash is just being <coughs> onboarded. So how, how has your experience been like the latest one? Yeah, okay, that's, that's a really good question. And, and I will try to kind of not just be goody goody about it and then you know, try to be a little <laughs> clear in all aspects. So uh, it's been by and large very positive because there has been a lot of clarity with respect to what is expected and uh, and how things are to be done and the structure of the program. And for that, I absolutely compliment uh, DIO and IDEX. By the way, one of the things that scared me was not remembering the full forms of IDEX and DIO <laughs> and now ITIC and you know all this but you know that's that's okay we'll figure that out right so uh, so that has been very nice one of the things that i think about uh, you know as we go along and uh, probably that becomes more relevant as we approach the end of the challenge is that being with idex uh, you know and dio would probably be you know like being a little kid with with your parent with you so so they are you know along with you for the ride they make you do stuff and you know see that you're on time and do things right which is essential to get into certain parts of the defense ecosystem. Now, we have also been independently part of the defense ecosystem for quite some time. I have myself been associated and, and we as a company have been associated. So uh, what uh, will probably be a challenge is let us say the, the product is done, uh, you know, and, and we are ready for, let's say, onboard trials. And I think he mentioned that a little bit as well. Uh, putting it through the paces and ensuring that it gets productized to a point where then that becomes a revenue stream, which justifies the effort put in, not just by us, but also by uh, by IDEX and by DIO, uh, is probably a bit of a challenge because, uh, you know, that remains to be seen. Because sometimes inductions can happen for the first time, but then making that, uh, you know, sort of sustainable and, and taking those gains and building something bigger from it. That, I think, is going to be uh, one of the things that we will try to, uh, try to evaluate, analyze, and then we will obviously pick your brains, uh, you know, through the process as to how that should happen. Because the idea is not just that, you know, we have a grant, we put in some resources and then build something that looks cool. In two years, you'll build something which is which is probably okay, which probably works, but it may not be super fine. It may not be something that can compete world over, you know, and, and it may not be something that can, at that point itself, uh, build you the kind of revenue stream that you're looking at, which is which is basically the valuation game, right? So how do we actually bridge that gap? So this, there's still a lot of support that will be needed. And, and uh, there's a lot of, of course, effort internally that has to be put in. Uh, there probably have to be some changes made in sort of the induction policies and so on, you know, uh, in the armed forces or wherever we are, so that uh, there's a preference given, uh, you know, for indigenous product, which already is happening, of course, make, make you, yeah. But, uh, but also, you know, uh, a, a practicality and a, and a time to market or a turnaround sort of a thing. So because what happens is you've got a, you've got a startup, you, you, you're doing something, you've built something, but then that has to turn into revenue, turn into something that you can show as, as an output in quick time. And that I think is a, is a challenge that needs to be addressed. So fortunately, uh, I and Professor Roy and uh, Professor Surya, MSR, we, we all were talking about the same problem uh, in the lounge actually. So we were talking about like once uh, companies like Aditya Pacific who are just about to complete a People who have just completed and uh, given orders for 380 crores, uh, how they're going into production phase, like that, that's a bigger challenge. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, see, as we have done a lot of product development for for the Indian Armed Forces, right? A lot. I have my myself been through the process, and actually, I am an alumnus of IITB. So I've been out of the country, and then come back, and then got into the sort of the the ecosystem, and and got into defense, you know, kind of, uh, and then seen how it works. Now it's a big process getting something productized, uh, and and you know, put through is a big process. Now, if you don't have the support of of let's say uh, you know an organization like DIO IDEX, then it's even longer. Now with this, there is a formal process, a formal way of actually going into it, so it's it's quicker. But still, there are some handoff and as you know, on certain issues, certain challenges that that need to be addressed. But let's see how it goes. I mean, overall, one feels hopeful. Of course, there are always going to be some. No, we, we, uh, I can assure you, we are working on that. So uh, that that's the discussion happening. Yeah, some uh, very good points uh, raised by him and uh, valid and uh, these are present uh, issues also. Uh, just two, three clarifications I've just said, although these are not the ideal solution. One, in uh, IDEX, what we follow is that uh, your solution or your product is not just meant for the challenge owner. As we go ahead, uh, we, have, we have to find alternate ma market. So this is as far as your revenue stream is concerned. You have to find alternate market, and there we have a we have now we also start up in that sense. We have now a commercialization section, basically, and our also aim is not just for that your product enters navy. It is basically a dual application to find alternative market, other ministries. That is one, and second is as far as um, this prototype and the standard. Yes, um, that is a this is the basic product which you are giving. And uh, thereafter, we expect that it should be marked too. You sh you are today maybe the best in the country. Uh, the aim is that you should be the best in the world. So that is that is all pl part of the plan, and uh, it's in the work. Yes, it is work in progress as far as those, those things are. But we have th um, the great to, thing, great to know that things in mind. Yeah. Okay, so we we are open for the questions from the audience. Uh, yes, sir. It's very nice panel discussion going on. Just two. Quick points. One, you mentioned about development of indigenous technology, Israeli prototype you are developing. I hope you are taking care of IPR issues. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Second is, how will you decide whether this company or this challenge is 1.5 crore or 10 crore? Uh, what are the parameters Ministry of Defense will pose? Thank you. Actually, your second answer first, sir. There are no parameters, sir. We don't set any budget. It is basically the budget is set by them. Budget is set by them, whether it is a 10 lakh solution, 20 lakh solution, 1.5 crores, or it can also be beyond. So as of today, as far as the disc was concerned, uh, we had a, uh, this thing that 1.5 crores was what we, we were providing. And the balance, it could be minimum 1.5 crores by the startups. It could be two crores, three crores. We have startups who are getting 10 crores from the, the startups who are coming to us are not necessarily coming for this fund, sir. IDEX aim is not just that uh, we are funding or um, funding their uh, innovation. No, that, that is not the this thing. It is, yes, we are part funding or we are part subsidizing their innovation. The idea is they should be growing enterprises. That is also our aim. It is not just some products they are providing. They should be up and running enterprises. So that is the this thing. Uh, your first question, sir, regarding the IP, as far as IDEX is concerned, whatever you develop, the, I, the IP remains with the startup. Listen, the IP is with the startup and um, it's not taken by us. Sir. Yeah, I think we have already people who are uh, working on uh, VR and uh, um, simulations and things like that. Yes, and met, uh, maybe the next, we, uh, we, I mentioned that uh, we are looking at other technologies, metaverse or whatever it is. Uh, the thing, blockchain and um, the, the, the works, yes. No, no, uh, you absolutely, there is no this thing that we are only looking at some things which are already in vogue. You you can give us any disruptive this thing. I told you, as you're sitting now, you can apply for the open challenge. And um, if it uh, if it works, you will be engaged. I trade on that. Uh, in Even in DISC-5, we do have winners who are building technologies over VR uh, just to you know help the services and even DPS used to build in that training and maintenance of aircrafts and all of that. So even in DISC-5, in the latest challenge that we posted, we do have VR solutions there. So you can surely go ahead and apply in the open challenge if no challenges are given in DISC-6. You can go ahead and apply for open challenge. 
So does this IDEX, you know, the initiative cover even those products which are existing and have not approached the defense to approach the defense markets? Uh, good question, sir. One is that, uh, see, like IDEX, there are many other avenues uh, as far as MOD is concerned. Uh, we have the make procedures. We have some challenges which are run by the DRDO called the T TDF. There are many, uh, quite a few schemes. Uh, IDEX presently is basically more into uh, innovation, sir. That you have an idea, you have a concept, and you, we, we take it to the uh, prototyping, the thing. If you have uh, an, um, a product which is mature and you can this thing, so there are other avenues like the make. Th that is where the uh, stream which you should look into. There are this thing, sir, for things which are already matured and things like that. How to introduce that into a different sector? There are avenues. There are avenues. But IDEX, as of now, we are looking at uh, taking from concept stage to the prototyping. Sir. Yeah. So, so I think the the question essentially is the way you have showcased IDEX, wherein anybody can go to a website, understand what is an offer. Is there something similar for uh, other products? Is yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Um, we have uh, something called the Make One and the Make Two, and also the Make Three, sir. In make two and make three, you can, um, depending on where your solution falls, you can give something like I said, the open challenge. There is also something in called in the make process, so motor pro, uh, proposals. You can send a proposal to the, the thing. Similar avenue is available. Only time saying there are there are schemes like IDEX. There are there are processes like IDEX available in MOD. This thing. IDEX, yes, presently in the present avatar is looking looking at. Uh, concept to uh, prototyping uh, normally we understand defense to be more of a secretive agency uh, you are not supposed to reveal your technology or something like that and startup is contradiction to that you want to tell the whole world what you are doing so you know idex has any particular scheme in uh, removing the contradiction and giving startup that uh, uh, that opportunity to tell about themselves though they are doing some defense uh, initiative good question ma'am uh, i think it, it's about uh, confidentiality secrecy and things like that uh, i think we have uh, the startups already told it's pretty transparent the navy army the services when they give the problem statement they come out with also what is uh, there is a document called the pds that is a problem definition statement where they give it an elaborate manner what they expect then they break it down make it more granular and the pro also as far as what they expect so the very fact that they are putting these challenges in open domain may, um, so those uh, risks they are um, they are taken care of they address uh, their they are cognizant of the fact that uh, the risk of um, openness is there but uh, as far as uh, ensuring uh, any startup who signs with us we have an nda which is signed uh, with that particular startup. And also in certain um, highly classified projects and problem statement, there could be a bilateral NDA, some kind of agreement signed between the challenge owner, that is Navy, Army or Air Force with you. So it is quite possible, ma'am, as far as uh, secrecy is concerned, there are challenges, maybe the Army will tear or the Navy will tell you the particulars only to the startup, not even to us. Listen. Just a just a little follow up on that, sir. Now, uh, for instance, uh, what you said is that the problem statement is open to everyone. So yes, uh, everyone knows what the challenge is to be solved. But once you actually build a product successfully, uh, there might be the scenario where this product finds excellent application in the armed forces, and it's not a technology that the armed forces wants available in the open domain. But you are now here; you own the IPR. And uh, the armed forces now would want you to go into a confidentiality uh, situation because then you are not allowed to actually uh, put this technology out uh, into the public domain or to commercialize. So I guess uh, in such a scenario, and that's probably what ma'am was also referring to, uh, kind of, in such a scenario, has there been a thought process put into how such a thing could be tackled? Like for instance, a variant that can go, uh, you know, without IPR and then a variant that has IPR that is now uh, assigned or tied in for the armed forces. Again, uh, yeah, a good leading question also, ma'am. Uh, so, actually, um, as far as uh, 
um, selling your product is concerned, as far as IDEX protocol is concerned, sir, you can sell and we expect you to sell your product to anybody and everybody except our some few enemies which all of us know. So it is only when uh, if you are planning to sell to them, to our adversaries, then we come in or we have margin rights. But as long as you don't have those kind of fancy ideas, you are free to sell to anybody. And even if you read the regular, uh, our guidelines, there is this thing, even if we produce or whatever it is, or the startup produ or, or the army navy or our defense industry produces based on your this thing, you get royalty. So those things, in fact, as, as, our, as IDEX, we expect you to expand your market. We expect you to sell and we are doing already the process has started. We are where we are now introducing your projects, uh, your products, your solutions to the world. That's great to know, sir. That's great to know. And that's that's a tremendously open. Initiative. But yes, like any other thing, security, yes, we there is a march in right as far as IPR, this thing that uh, uh, countries interests come first. So those um, those caveats are there. But um, uh, we believe that you should be the uh, and in fact, we are trying the thing where people say there is no unicorn from the defense sector. First of all, you say, yeah, first of all, entering defense is a, is a challenge. You're expecting uh, unicorns, but you could hear for unicorns from IDEX itself soon. So my question is, see, the problem statements, what you have are putting in this, they already, so the foreign vendors are probably already providing the solutions. So now once we come up with the indigenous kind of a solution now, so what I heard from, you know, some of the talks is that, you know, once a local solution is found, foreign vendors will immediately, you know, slash the prices because they already have years of networking. So when such a kind of situation comes, and even for me, let's say I applied for a problem statement, I want to come up with a tech solution and I need some critical components which needs to be imported from, you know, foreign companies based in Israel, Germany or France and immediately I also had to explain them, you know, why exactly I'm doing that or else I have to go through an academics kind of a thing. When such scenarios come, you know, how IDEX is going to support us, you know, one thing is to import these critical parts from foreign companies and also let's say if the foreign vendor who has good connects with the, you know, all the key people in armed forces, you know, I heard stories that they'll even sponsor chartered flights to visit their uh, companies so yeah i just want to you know know your opinion on that you know how you're going to support us any challenge which is there in idex we uh, we have an acquisition process of uh, procedure uh, which is the defense acquisition procedure any challenge which is out here in the idex the procurement has to be done from the winner only so that process is there and it is it is stipulated so there is no other thing that he is working on some challenge and some foreigner will come or whatever it is and we'll go to him. It is not even for uh, this thing. There is a, this thing that not even uh, in any Indian major cannot cannot provide that solution. So that that uh, it's okay now. So if you are uh, part of IDEX, the challenge. The, the procurement sh would and should go to only you. That is one. Second is um, beyond IDEX, uh, you know our other thing. This is the thrust is on make in India. If you have today a solution in India, it is designed and developed in India, there is no way you can import it. There is no way you can import it. And I can tell you with figures also how the government is planning and uh, is focused. Uh, you know our defense budget, I think 72 billion. I don't know with. Uh, a dollar and rupee uh, dynamism which is going on what is the figure now 72 billion and i can just say that 68 percent almost 70 percent of this is uh, is being placed only and it is it is kept aside only for domestic this thing so i think i almost 80 uh, 80 000 crore if i got my figures right is now available for the domestic industry so um, so those days are gone when uh, you could have charter flights by whatever you are renting at and we are into the stage maybe these are the people who will charter us flights i will just take a quick two minutes i'm i'm sure everybody is hungry i'm hungry too just two minutes and we'll close it I would 
want to start uh, thanking you all to come here and i know it's a saturday and half a day so thank you so much uh, i would like to extend our heartfelt gratitude to all the dignitaries startups students and each one of you present here and also who joined us virtually thank you so much mr captain roy for your words i'm sure they will inspire and encourage startups to grow and create an innovative solutions which will make india proud and for the deep insights on idex 6 and uh, prime uh, thank you mr karun narula uh, for walking us through the website and also for the support to organize this event thank you mr professor surya kumar for your insights on itech and thank you mr msr uh, for walking us through the journey with uh, t hub and idex thank you ps uh for making for being the constant support and helping pull this off thank you dhru for moderating the panel discussion and the whole iit team and the uh, kus team thank you chitralekha studios who captured really good moments we will share it across soon and the startup tv for covering this event last thank you the hub team uh, monica mandar raju suvida and the whole facilities for making this a successful event that's what i think and i hope you think the same the lunch is served outside and i'm sure it's very delicious so make your tummies happy see you around and this is the best time to network we have the dignitaries and the startups everybody here so 